Ladies and gentlemen, down your cock. <laughs> He's waiting for that word. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate you. All right, all right, all right, here we go. God damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Master Bastard. <laughs> I am Turlet. I'm Ham Tackle. I'm Sir Chapsworth. Ram Tang. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again to another episode of this wonderful, wonderful podcast where four idiots sit around, get drunk, and chat. Couldn't wait for it. Not drunk yet. Not drunk yet. It's been a while since we recorded. You know, it's been a good. uh, We missed a couple weeks there. Why is that? and disgusting. I got a little sick. Yeah. What happened? Um, I got uh, shingles. It's something shingles. you get when you don't wash. Is what I'm <laughs> no. like well, I, I, my doctor told me it's on the me internet. It says it's on it's it's <laughs> 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 doctor told me it's adult chicken pox, so I assume I got it from fucking all those adult chickens. <laughs> Could be. Could be. If they were dormant since like college. <laughs> yeah, it really sucked because about like um, a week before the last time we recorded, maybe two weeks, I started getting headaches. And it was terrible. Like, headache, 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 headache. And then it started to escalate where I was getting migraines. And then it, I went to the doctor like four times. He's like, you just have migraines. Deal with it. Like, oh, great. Super. So he's a good doctor. He's a great doctor. Uh, Top notch. I hate that doctor. I know that, I know that doctor you've gone Did to. he ever give you a physical? No. No? So our, he hasn't, our, there hasn't been a ma- pair of male hands on both our balls? No. There's a male, there's another coworker at my work. The guy, <laughs> the guy I watch Doctor Who with every week is like 50 or 5 year old guy. It's a lot of fun. He's felt your balls? No, but he has the same doctor. And I asked him, did he get a physical? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, his hands have been on both our balls. And he didn't really think it was that funny. That's <laughs> very coincidental. I mean. He smiled. I think he, think smiled. he wasn't offended. He was just kind of like, okay, that's an interesting thing to, for somebody to say to another you know, person. I think it's, uh, I think it's how that's you say it. Man if you sound man. excited when you say it, that's when it gets kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Dude, we've had, we both had the same man with the, his hands on both our balls. How far did you get? <laughs> Did he use his mouth yeah, or did not? He, did well, he, he tickle like he tickled mine? <laughs> he had a real gentle, you know, how he uh, would scratch with his nails on the bottom well, of my balls. That man has fondled some balls. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He's really it's did he glove up or no? I, I don't remember. He probably did glove up. I'm really sweaty. I'd forget too. I would <laughs> if I was him. Sometimes you just get comfortable. But I, I kept going to the guy, and I had to get a CAT scan because I kept getting migraines. He said, "Oh, everything's fine. No tumors." Yeah, CAT scan. That's so normal. Well, that's so cheap too. It's really inexpensive. And um, then finally, I somehow I, I got a small rash on my scalp, and it was kind of painful. And I went in again, and I had a, um, eye pain, too, because the, the pain in my right eye from the migraines, it felt like my eye was popping out of my head. And the doctor's like, oh, now you have sh- uh, a rash on your head, and I think it's shingles. So after like a month and a half of constant headaches and lots and lots of migraines, they uh, gave me some antivirals. And, did, you, uh, uh, did you get the ball treatment that day, too? Uh, well, it's, if I said, if I'm paying a copay, I am making sure I don't have a fucking hernia, doc. <laughs> strap up and squeeze. Well, what was it? What was the tweet before you? Uh, they don't. They don't honor your. Uh, they don't acknowledge your home. Self animus or something like that. Self uh, prostate. Oh yeah, they don't, yeah. They don't, I guess my uh, self prostate exams aren't valid. <laughs> yeah. like, it doesn't. I can tell you. Tell me if there was something in there, I would know. And I can tell you that it doesn't hurt. It feels great. So I assume it's perfectly healthy. And if there is something wrong, don't take it out. Because <laughs> whatever's going on right now, it's perfect. <laughs> Okay, symptoms? Um, I, I didn't get it that bad, because a lot of people, if they get shingles on their head, they'll get it all on the side of their fucking face and all these blisters and shit. I just had it on the right side on top of my scalp, like three or four just blisters, which are totally healed up and gone now. Oh, so you've missed like two three days of work? I actually had to go uh, take an entire unpaid week off of work. It was great. <laughs> yeah. paying for, I'm paying for that now with having no money on paycheck. <laughs> I have no choice. I'm pretty, I love much, out, I'm pretty much out of my PTO. The corner in there. The, the, the corner yeah, question. <laughs> I, I'm out of PTO until October, so I had I had no choice but to take FMLA or, you know. The last day I worked, I uh, threw up a lot of water and pills into my trash can and slept under my desk for a half hour. Now, you failed to mention that you were on pills from the doctor. Yes, I was okay, on lots of painkillers. I, I just want to clarify. I'm giving you an out. There was no painkilling whatsoever. It was just, uh, yeah. No matter how hard you try. Oh god, I had migraine constantly, and I had no. I could. I, if I didn't go to work, I'd get fired. So I keep going and keep going. Can you tell me or tell the them the single scab that you picked? Oh god, and I was reading online. <laughs> do not scratch scabs. Blah blah blah. You could have permanent hair loss from having shingles on your scalp. And as everything was healing up, I was like, oh, this one's kind of loose. I'm just. It's no big deal. Maybe I'll just pull it off. A good 30, 40 hairs just sticking out of a scab. 
<laughs> terrified me. So I got like a, half, a dime, half dime size uh, p- circle of bald, like on the top of my, somewhere on the top of my scalp. Jesus Christ. I haven't had my like wife. something from Hellraiser. Yeah. It was pretty bad because it came off so easily too. It's like I should have just let it heal and those hairs would still be there. Yeah, they just, they're, yeah. they're never coming back. I bet it felt good to pick that fucking oh, thing. I'm one of those guys who likes to, who's always kind of a picker, you know? That's empathy. That's I'm true. always biting my nails or picking at something. So the, having those on top of my head, I'm just like, I got I just kind of want to feel it. It's going to. He's like the feel. fly. Well, how do you feel now? You feel 100%, right? I'm 100%. Yeah. Now. You're you're now. Cereal. He was pulling the fingernails off yeah. on the fly. Oh. And then he was totally just falling apart. Oh, that was one of the greatest cinematic scenes Jeff of all Goldblum time. Jeff my favorite Goldblum Jew. might be the fucking creepiest looking man in history. My favorite Jew. By far. Well, next to Ron, fa- next to Ron <laughs> Perlman, let's all be honest here. <laughs> Ron Perlman, that chin and forehead. Oh, there's there's a that anchor. Looks like a shaved bear. Do you guys know uh, Brian Williams, the anchor Brian Williams? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a guy that fills in for him. He's like a black Ted Danson. He's got half of his whole entire face is forehead. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? I think I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Ted it's, awesome. it's like a black Ted Danson. Ted Danson had a toupee too. Like it, that was a Forever. intentional look. Well, here's to you getting better, pal. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, it's been two weeks since I well, over two weeks since I had the medication, so I'm tip top. I'm back at work. Everything worked out with all my uh, FMLA and all that. So you're off crap. unemployment. Mm. Uh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> everything everything's perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, what are we drinking? Well. Absent. Oh, this of course, absent. folks. Courtesy uh, of... Tackle showed up with another bottle of goddamn... I thought we were out of absinthe. I thought we were free of this fucking terrible... Ugh, oh, this shit sucks. Just wait for the This sensation. is only 68%. This is uh, Pernod. It's uh, some French absinthe. Called... Is this bought in America? Yes. Lovely. Wonderful. Oh, it's okay. not. It's imported by Pernod. It's, it's not interesting. Interest. It's got a great sounding name. It's still every bit And this is absinthe. like that thick, dark, green, green absinthe. You cheers. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, how would you rate it, guys? <sighs> the sugar doesn't help. Uh, uh, so that is spectacular. Ramping crushed up a sugar cube in his shot glass before <laughs> putting the absinthe in. Yeah, that's, that's very much absinthe. You can tell. That's strong. It's got an intensity to it. Yeah, there's no sweetness to it whatsoever. No, no, it's, it's just horrible. It's not sourness. We bitterness. do this for you folks. We wouldn't just drink this stuff if we weren't trying to be... <sighs> it's because Turlet normally is just not funny at all. We have to put liquor in it. <laughs> Ajax tastes better than that. Yeah, but Ajax doesn't come in a nice bottle with a cork. <laughs> It's got a really drink you were talking box. about earlier? What was it? Somebody? Oh, you tell. tell or no, there was a story of some former coworker that had a bunch of. They found a bunch of stuff around the office or something. Who was that? Oh, that was my wife. Oh, tell, lady, please, lady I want to hear Tang. Her again, you're reminding me about that, that well, special drink. Lady Tang got this job, and apparently the receptionist before her had a bit of a problem. And uh, when they fired her, they found a bunch of half drinking Nyquil bottles, Five Hour Energy, uh, and vodka. And apparently she was just mixing this cocktail. Uh, five hour energy vodka and NyQuil. Yes. So Next what? podcast, we are taking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that? If you're, if you're going to go to a bar and order a uh, NyQuil five hour energy and vodka, what's the? That's the money maker. It's something foul, is what it is. It's the knife fight, right? Isn't that what you said? Knife fight. <laughs> yeah, knife fight. <laughs> Oh, it, is sort of a, it is sort of like an aggressive battle between two fucking you know states of mind at one time there. Yeah, that, that's what you probably. Nyquil should liquor think. just to dumb you down, and then five hour energy to try to fight through it. Like that's not a good. That's not a healthy battle to have like in the morning. No, or throughout the day, <laughs> <laughs> or through yeah. through the afternoon, through brunch. Mm. Oh, I have such a bad cold, but I want to be chipper for work. <laughs> but I also want to be hammered. Yeah. I can't also get through can't my day. Stand stand reality reality right now. At least she wasn't hungry, too, when you find a sandwich yeah. curled up in a sheet of fucking yeah. Yeah. You know, She just dr- drinks it out of a hollowed out Twinkie. She's just blip. <laughs> <laughs> you put some hot dogs in a blender and add vodka, NyQuil, and uh-huh. five-hour energy. Meat smoothie. So the five-hour energy, I also had a... You know, interestingly enough, a coworker story about Five Hour Energy, but I don't really know this coworker. It's somebody that I never really have talked to or even honestly seen. But at my building where I work, there's like a whole shitload of people sitting at cubicles, and then in the center of the room, there's like a, a room they call the fishbowl because it's just gigantic plate win- windows all around. So you see all in there from everywhere. Yeah, everybody can see. That's where the conference room is, and we do all of our meetings in there and stuff like that. Um, and there's a adjacent to it is like another half-ass training room they're just really busy so there's training back there and somebody comes up to me one of the floor walkers one of the support staff says uh, there's a uh, 
fat crying woman puking in the uh, <laughs> fish bowl right now. <laughs> how, how fat are we talking here? Well, or she's just chubby. I'm, I'm a fat man, so it's hard pig. for me to like, you know, throw stones in my particular. You're gra- a big guy, but there's some house. people who are like just melting monsters. Oh, she obviously had at least three kids. I mean, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, based on a sliding scale of children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work with a woman who has, who has four kids, and she's got like this. Super, super fit, tight body, and it's like yeah, yeah. Well, they're they're the me. exception to the rule. I thought it'd be hanging you, out like a blown out inner tube. But. I work. That's kind of what this. That is a good description. It's a lovely life. visual. Man. It's not like outward girth. It's like obviously at one point was outward girth, and now it just doesn't have the structure to maintain it. <laughs> Sort of like shelf like appearance. On well, the Jesus was like, <laughs> or like a like it, curl, it looks like, like she crushing could, a water balloon. She could pick up, <laughs> she could pick up the funnies out of like a newspaper with it, probably. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> kind of uh, I love those women with the silly putty skin. <laughs> so you're attracted to her? No, uh, but I walk in like I'm like I have a responsibility to make sure this girl's not going to die. She's going to die within. My desk is maybe 35 feet away from where she's How at. How did you oh. not watch her fucking stumble I'm in? I'm fucking, I'm constantly at this goddamn computer paying attention to all this shit and doing all this garbage. I, I'm not like... You're important. I'm not like a lifeguard. I mean, I shouldn't have to be. <laughs> oh, 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 Cindy's down. Cindy's down. She's kidding. Although we have had the... I better get in there and hold her hair back. There. We've had the ambulance there many times, but that's not necessarily going to be my fault. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so I go back to this glass room. Is everybody now watching me approach the crying fat woman that's obviously been they're waiting for somebody it, to do it. Like, I bet it was like theater. will do it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what happened. Is they just looked and they went, holy shit. And they all walked over to me and just said, take care of this. So I go in there. I open up the door. And she sort of looks up at me. And she knew I was coming. Like, I don't know. She wasn't looking at me. But she knew somebody was coming. <laughs> I said, are you okay? Yes, I'm, I, I'm okay. I had a five-hour energy. And it made me feel so bad. And I said, <laughs> do, do I need to contact medical help for you? You were sympathetic. <laughs> I had to be very clear with my verbiage. I can't say after the fact. I was like, you all right? You okay? Okay. Walk you want, me to, drive, you want me to drive you to the hospital? No, it's just... That has happened. I know. Yeah. Talk, we talked about Drifter I Joe. I know. And I don't think we put a pin in Drifter Joe. You'll have to go back to him in a minute. Yeah, after this. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just told her that, and I went back to the other room, and I, at that point, I said... I checked on her. I absolved myself of any responsibility. <laughs> so I'm facing the other direction again, and I'm not going to look back. <laughs> Fuck I went back, looked back like a half hour later, and the lights were off, and she was out of there. So I figured you need I medical do. assistance because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not getting any emotional support. <laughs> I figured it would sort itself out. <laughs> well, I, I asked. Why is Ralph a sleeping person? I had, I, had a witness, I had a witness sit, standing next to me. Then she seemed like she had was of sound mind. When she said it. Well, she's puking in a trash can. Well, she wasn't actively, like, throwing up as I was talking. Like, no, I'm it, okay. This was more of five a, hour. the shame tears. The shame tears of throwing up in front of everybody. The whole probably, no, but that part I don't necessarily understand. She left a room with about probably 12 other people in it to go sit in a glass room that was illuminated by the overhead lights at a gigantic <laughs> desk by herself with a trash can between her legs and puke in front that, of maybe 160 people. That just shows she was looking for the sympathy. She was like, there's maybe. not enough. I could puke right here, but there's only two or three people. If See, I that, puke in there, that everybody's going to know yeah, I'm sick. That there is a very female kind of thing to do. I can't imagine a guy going to puke in front of a group of 100 plus people. Hear that, ladies? Oh, we know someone that would. Vicon? Vicon would pull some shit like that. Do you really think so? What? Absolutely. Vicon? Why do you say that? He would pull shit like that just to get attention. Vicon, write us in and let us know what you think. <laughs> or not Vicon, I'm sorry, not Vicon. Uh, Kydel? Yeah, Kydel, Kydel. Oh, I thought I'm sorry. No, doctor. Like, I'm no. sorry. I'm 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 sorry. Sorry, oh, no, I'm he'd be like, oh, I'm so sick, you guys. I've really got, I've got the mouth aids, and I'm puking lots. Yeah. And everybody got to see and give me sympathy. Oh my God, though. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. Well, I don't. I don't bleed sympathy when well, I'm there. The but... one time I threw up at work when I had the migraine, I had, I had like just a water, a belly. This was recently, by the way, everybody. My jo- mine is, you know, talking about some idiot doing it. Well, here's a guy who's done it within the last couple of weeks. <laughs> and I never threw up at work before, but I'm at my desk. I'm covering my right eye because of the pulsing migraine, and trying to to do my work, trying to, you know data entry bullshit and all of a sudden I'm like I think I'm going to puke now let me think the, the, the bathroom is about 50, 50 steps away 60 steps I could get there and, or I could just swivel around and throw up in this trash can that's got its own plastic liner and let me think and oh here's my choice <laughs> yeah I gotta make it right now and I'm not a loud puker at all I'm very careful like my female co-worker who I share a cute wall with had no idea <laughs> it was the same way. 
I puke and the, all you get is the sound of like it could have been somebody shitting from about three feet. <laughs> the only person who saw was Stevie D. Stevie D turned around because he's been keeping an eye on me because he knew yeah. I was sick. Oh, yeah. And he just saw me like I opened my mouth and it's just all you can hear is water spilling. You can't hear me going because I don't do that. I just it's just I know, a, that's what it is. I have a silent open mouth Splashes. and then there's like a water dumping, water dumping. Somebody dumping out water. I feel better. Some now. water yeah, getting dumped out. <laughs> I know that feeling where immediately after you're like, you know what, I'm totally cool now. And it was yeah. just kind of a diluted, melty water. Like you can see there's dissolved pills in it, and that's it. Yeah. So I pick up the trash can, walk to the bathroom, take my bag out, put it in there. No shame walk or anything. I'm just like, I'm walking with a just a trash can full of water. No big deal. Well you got all kinds of places here. You've got like an avocado tree and Oh, it's adorable. This avocado thing's tree. hilarious, dude. What? Fucking your avocado tree, your plantation that you have. He has an avocado <laughs> tree at work. Can you believe this horseshit? Well, it's just an avocado. Co worker finished eating their avocado and had a pit, and I'm like, give me that. And I my work in it. My work would be like, <laughs> dude, it's like fucking three and a half feet tall, man. My work would be like, there's something on your wall that is not work related. What's going on here? <laughs> Their fucking I got, space is I got totally a poster of, Dead, cool of Deadpool or, video or, game. He says, "You know, you want me on my wall." <laughs> it's, per, it's acceptable. Well, that makes sense. My, the, there's the vice president whose office is like, like two cubicles over. There's an office over there that has mm. the vice president of, our, of my department. And he walked by me the other day and said, "Like, oh, you got some plants, huh? When'd you get these?" I'm like, "I've always had these. I've sat in that chair for that same seat for two and a half years with him walking by every day for two and a half years, <laughs> having conversations with me like every other day or so. <laughs> it's like, it's, how you doing? Good morning." And he's like, "Where'd you get these?" Like, actually, I've always had them. They're yeah. huge. They've always been there. They're... One day he decided just to care about was, you in particular. Too. He looked really like <laughs> something's wrong. Something's wrong. Like reboot, reboot, reboot. Uh, and he went into his office and plugged himself into the wall. To uh, Stevie D's credit, he uh, was really worried about you. It was oh, awesome. I know. He is, he is one of the most sympathetic people guy. I know. He is very nurturing, very sympathetic. He's a wonderful, unreal guy. And I guy. do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Thanks, Stevie D. Love you, brother. Is this an official shout out? It is. Oh, an official. Wow. We're well, gonna have another shout out. I got a shout out to uh, Harry Gecko. Harry yeah, Gecko. Uh, he is a big fan of ours, and he loves the show. Hey, Harry Gecko. He listens to every episode, and I appreciate it. And we're gonna have him on sometime. Love your body. Really cool. Tender. Would, uh, so you know. We'll oil you. We'll spread you out the, uh, over this table and oil your body. Yeah, you will. Yeah, the initiation is oiling. That's what <laughs> Cheese Nips got last time. Full body uh -huh. oiling. Nothing sexual about it. Like, no. Nothing weird. It was just, hey, you know, hey, this is what we do. We oil. It was a gentle mix of baby oil and butter. It's a service, not, you know, anything. <laughs> well, we had to eat sushi. And so, I mean, yeah. what's better than the human sushi oh, tray? Delicious. Damn right. Especially one covered in butter. Oh, butter lady, you taste so good when oh, I this, rub my toast. I, didn't we talk about this before we started? <laughs> I'm singing. You know, <laughs> that's why I'm singing because you told me not to sing. Well, yeah, so so Thursday, um, I have to go to a meeting and I have to be about 30 miles away. This is last Thursday. So this is this out. last Thursday, okay. two days ago. I, uh, I had to wake up really early and it throws me off. And so I leave the house at about 5:15 and then I'm driving. And I have to go to Walmart. It is the nearest bathroom. They have the highest chance of an open facility. Oh, I thought you meant like for the for the high quality products. I mean, no, okay. This is just for the bathroom only. And I uh, I get into the parking lot and I go to the front door and it's closed. It's it's quarter to six in the morning. What kind of neighborhood are you in that closes? That, that's a bad neighborhood that the Walmart yeah. closes. The Walmart was closed. They're like between these hours, it's not safe to be open in this Walmart. <laughs> Essentially, like, and even if you did come in, you don't want to be served by the people we have working here. <laughs> The people that have the name tags and still don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got in the in the van that I drive, and I drove to the back side where it was kind of darker, and then there was the road closed on the corner. What time so is this again? This is about at this point. This is ten minutes to six in the morning, and I uh, I get there and I take a gallon water jug that I had about a little I don't know maybe an eighth of water left. Wait, I cut thirsty? the top open, and I dumped it out, and then I went around and opened the side doors of the van, yeah. dropped trowel, oh, and no. filled it. <laughs> with this, oh, it was like a, it was like an oatmeal, chocolate chip consistency, like it oh, just, it with just, a binder, right? We're it, talking with a binder, not like old hit, dusty. You know, it hit the plastic, <laughs> and I knew it. And so the only thing that I had to wipe with were these uh, little blue booties. Plastic booties I have to put on when I go into customers' houses and not damage them. Well, you, you probably are doing okay in that department. What size shoe do you wear? Oh, actually, I really wish the booties were bigger because they get about <laughs> one time use when they go over the 14. You're telling me they, did, they can't accommodate you, like, in your workplace? Yeah. So they're like, oh, we'll just give you extras. Oh, yeah, one for the front, one for the back. Just and tape, like, tape them well, Here's some just, sandwich bags. Put them on your toes. I just don't use them. I actually, I, I've used them twice now for pooping. But so needless to say, <laughs> needless to say, Just I... Put, so you're happy you have them, You have poop problems. Put some toilet paper in your van. 
Yeah, well, nothing like it. Then then the what you do is inside the van, you can lay out some some uh, plastic Walmart bags, drop trowel, and just squat right into those, bundle them up, and drop them in a drop. You said they're, they're plastic. They're plastic. Nothing like Please. wiping your ass with plastic. Like oh, a fucking do you know bag. how horrible it is? <laughs> It, it really gets good coverage. Oh, man. It's just, your, it's just no absorbency. So, it's just a smear yeah. rag. <laughs> you kind of have to pinch it off. You can't really wipe it off. There's, yeah, there's, two, there's two parts to the story. Okay. And so as I was on the third wipe, I, I, I found a bit of resistance on the follow through. And I was like, okay. oh, fuck. That, is it, water that was either a t shirt or, or that was like the boxer, oh. the boxer uh, top, <laughs> the elastic on my boxers. And so I didn't have the heart to look at the moment, so oh. I just I just pulled up, dropped it <laughs> off there by the parking lot, and drove to work. I got to the meeting, I just went straight to the bathroom, and dropped trail, and I looked, and yeah, it was the top of the boxers. There was just a little shit smear from the oh, plastic booty. Oh, how lovely. Booty. Just a slice. Did it wipe so, on your back? Uh, no. It was okay. Oh, good. Somewhere the night security has, like, a picture of your vehicle. <laughs> they're like, look, it's fucking feeling. Another guy pooping again. <laughs> That's the, why they're closed. People are always pooping. They don't want kids to see it when they're open. <laughs> Well, yeah, the, what the, last time, the last time that I pulled that move, though, I had pulled off on this secluded road in this mountain town. It's a very popular town, but this is in the morning on a Sunday. And nobody's around. And I do the same thing. And as soon as I throw it off into the trees there, I hear voices. And there's a walking path 20 feet from where I just <laughs> dropped trow. Didn't even know. <laughs> it, was just, it was just dumb luck that Look they never came by. Look there's a family of four staring at you. <laughs> What's that? What's that smell? Oh it, must be, it must be bears. Oh, they're terrible. Sasquatch. <laughs> what did you see him? Doing? <laughs> he yelled so obscenity at me and ran. <laughs> Mom, is he camping? <laughs> so, I had a weird. Uh, this, I don't know why that reminded me. A few, uh, a few years, a couple years ago at work, I had like a. I was kind of constipated for a few days, oh, yeah. and then it kind of loosened up, and it was like, hey, everything's flowing again. Went. I made my little toilet paper nest. Put a little splash guard. That let you ever put like a thin layer of toilet paper on the water to have be a splash guard? No. So it catches the poop, but doesn't splash up on your ass. This is no, way I don't worry. Too much. I'm just oh, worried. Oh, you guys gotta like build poop structure. And I don't do it. I think that's maybe like I built too much of an island because I unloaded. And I filled the bowl with poop when I went to wipe. I stuck my hand in shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was piled so high that it oh must have just my. been it must have just been like steaming and kissing my ass and just floating right there. It was probably <laughs> just enough buoyancy on top of your fucking toilet paper to like keep it surface high. It's like a it New like, York City trash so bar. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a peanut a finger so all of a sudden out. I have poop all over my fingertips and the, and the part, part of my knuckles. And I'm shocked because I'm, you know, you're yeah. back there quick. You're used to like, hey, I'm going to wipe. I'm gonna, and then, you know, Immediate you never really horror. Re encounter resistance. Like, oh my God, I just stuck my fingers Oh man, and I wiped it off with so much toilet paper. Like, I got to try to like wash my hands casually and not let people see that I'm scrubbing like in a panic. Because <laughs> I'm a nail biter too. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to bite my nails with a bunch of yeah. feces caked under my fucking fingernails. You don't Delicious. have the discipline to like not, so you hey, just that's, need to that's wash that's how ringworms, food. buddy. That's how they survive. Oh, pinworms, right? Ringworms? Pin, or yeah, pinworms, sorry. Roundworms is what I was thinking. Oh, yummers. Yeah, they make your asshole itch and you scratch and then you put your fingers in your mouth. That's how babies get them. Because Beautiful. Children. Life cycle. Fucking filthy creatures, and no one should have them. Well, yeah, I remember when I was a kid, poop was just delicious. Couldn't keep my mouth off it. You guys? I used to eat dog poop when I was a kid. I was <laughs> yeah, Seriously? Uh, yeah, like as a little, <laughs> Where is this coming like from? I'm an animal. I, I was guess. kidding. I don't know. I guess. I grew up on a farm. I guess. Or is this just your parents telling you things? Is this your you brother terrible? fucking with you? Maybe. Some chocolate. You love chocolate. I don't know. I have no idea. Did you, you do have an older brother? Did you ever get caught? Or did you know it was bad and you're in the backyard trying to sneak in a dog here and there? I don't know. <laughs> I was one running around in, the, in this. It was like a ranch style fucking mansion that my grandparents lived in. And we lived in Dude, like you a. You shit in a mansion? No. Damn it. <laughs> Will you let me finish before you fucking. Is there like an addition on so, the trailer? There's is that what no, mansion is? I thought that water level was so low yeah. in that mansion. It's back How low yeah, is the you're water so poor because your water level is low in your toilet. It correlates with your poverty level. No, there was a, a huge fenced in, like, all area around yard, and they would just turn me loose in this yard. And they had this little dog, Chico, that would attack every fucking... What kind of dog? This is important question. This is you, you remember. He was like a Benji dog. But I, he was... Like a terrier? Yeah, kind of. He uh, got ran over by a USP, or UPS truck. That was my dog. You're still in my story. No, he got ran over and lived. <laughs> oh, okay. Because my dog, Digger, when I was a kid, the same day the challenge... What was your dog's name? D I D E R Digger, because when he we were, we were I thought we had like a he would dog. dig in the backyard, so we called it D 
bigger. It wasn't a black dog and we're terrible people. I thought this was like a Rick Perry fucking summer home kind of a moment you were having. <laughs> No, on the same day the Challenger shuttle exploded, a pack of wild dogs, because we lived in a mountain town, came down and killed all our chickens. Challenger exploded, and then the UPS man ran over my dog, Digger. All in one day. You know what? I think, given the uh, the evidence we have here, maybe the UPS people have it out for the dogs. And it was still, the thing is, it was the same UPS uh, man up until, I think he's still on that route today. When I so when I grew, well, when I grew next up, time you when I was an adult there. we'd still like be like hey Stan he's like hey I killed your dog I'm like yeah you did fucker and I'd spit at his so shoes I okay. wanted the UPS man to kill that little dog because he would kill all of our barn cats but that 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 he dried would, like, up your supply of shit yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently this is all hearsay and conjecture though if your um, yeah, sexual uh, choices and, and preferences and, and kinks that you kind of get as you're an adult or directly related to what happens to you as a kid is do you really just get off on slamming your dick in a cabinet with your with feces caked on your lips oh man, no feces was, I like slapping my dick around. There are pictures. I mean, there are pictures. I mean, dog poop. I'm not some kind well, of. Well, yeah, freak. maybe I, I do get enticed by the smell whenever my dog takes a shit. Oh, God, enticed. I bet you do. I bet you get rigid. <laughs> no, I do like to slap my dick. If a girl's giving me a blowjob, slap it against her face. Though I've noticed. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's about demeaning a female. I think more than. You think that's what it is. Yeah, totally. that's, that's, that's a, a You're a bitch. Powerful. Take this yeah. and put it back in your mouth and tolerate it. Tolerate We're it. I'm not going to clear this beforehand. I'm just going to start smearing on your face. God, <laughs> that's my wife. She punched me in the balls. Some of them no, you like know it, where though. you like you take it and you pull it back like a fucking tree branch and you let it go and it slaps them? And it hits them right in the eye and they're screaming, <laughs> holding their eye. There's cum in my eye. There's cum in my eye. It's in your hair, too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay. all over. Yeah, it's <laughs> ass We're going to shower anyways, right? <laughs> you know what you're gonna know. Have some dog poop. What are you <laughs> filthy? You, you, you're in the shower. After so you're a chef for a long time. Just to continue the dog poop thing. If you had to prepare a dog poop and a meal to feed the garlic, people. salt, oil, sauteed at high heat. Do so you think a that was too quick of an answer? To lock in you the think a shit is gonna hold up? <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you think sure a shit is still gonna hold dog up? Poop? Poop? That's why you gotta flash it in the pan. It's what if it's like? Uh, do you have to like make pancakes with it if it's all like no. loose? Well, no, it would be. Oh. It just would be like corn starch with it. And it would be off. three pancakes, three hour old up. poop. Throw up. <laughs> three hour old poop. It would have you know structure to it. Oh, so it was like it was like crunchy on the outside. Hardened. Like, he's got he's got too much of a quick answer on that. This is like you know. Oh, I mean, when I cook poop, I use garlic and. <laughs> think about like a crab cake or it went something from an like that. To a I was, I was thinking like, like a crab cake, right? Yeah, you could like a pate if you want. You could eat it raw. But what else could you do with it? Could you use it as an ingredient? Could you mix it in with like bread dough and have yeah, shit you bread? Could, you could, could you have. have <laughs> yeah, you could Just have like red shit sauce meatloaf, with shit. Shit mashed potatoes, you know, use it like an essence of dog shit. It's like shit meatballs. Bears. Instead of parsley, kind of you're just kind of grate some dried shit yeah. onto it. You know, like when dog poop turns all gray and white. Oh, you know, you put it in like a pepper grinder. I thought those were <laughs> potato <laughs> skins. Christ! Is that like a potato skin? A potato <laughs> peeler dog shit. Yeah. and just have like long strips like fried up oh, like carrot slices just have garnish a salad oh twice baked dog shit <laughs> yeah twice baked so it's all like creamy on the inside but that's well, you, you, you cook it the first time you whip it all up and then you put it back all right, let's, let's and you get the like, crust over the top of it the, with, the, oh. like, with like that uh, you know that Dairy Queen swirl at the top oh and some cheese oh, and you crisp that up well, some chives croutons tostitos Chips. So now, uh, if, if people start eating poop, I mean, is it going to... If, if food, people start eating I mean, if this became like a big, big thing that everybody else in the next wave of food cuisine is like, hey, poop's okay. Like, would would the types of food you eat affect the type of poop you create and the type of, of poop you want to eat? Like, no, there would this be, is, there would this be is garlic fed, fed no, hog shit. People would realize that it's a new trend and that you would have a bunch of people trying to standardize the poop. Well, we talked about offered. poop standardization when we talked about the Poop Olympics. In which people are like performing shitting, kind of like shitting for distance, something like that, where you sort of get like all down oh, yeah. on a white tarp and you just go <laughs> fire. Now the now the advantage is all in your dietitian. Like they are going to tell you exactly what you need to eat and what kind what kind of yeah, but you, you, you can't to take like laxatives. Those would be considered no, no. like PEDs. It's like you've got, you've got to <laughs> those are PEDs. Those, you got to formulate your own diet that's going to give you the highest splatter ratio and. Work the right like stomach kegel muscles and well, shit like well, that. Well, there other ones too with like um, yeah. just overall girth and weight, overall like oh, yeah. texture. How how, well, how for solid? For a single about. unbroken shit. Unbroken shit, of course. It's a single unbroken shit award. Like if you've got to have the biggest, you could coil it back over itself if it has oh, to. Oh, coiling We've is done important. It. I'm not proud. 
But that's different. I have to go. I have to go to the handicap the stall because they're the ones that you know pinch the loaves that can't be flushed. And so it's always way more powerful than there. So you really do so. Are they trying to flush their colostomy bags? No, no. Sure like, I think it's just something about not ever having moved your stomach, like that makes that those poops come out like hammers. Oh god! And, <laughs> yeah, yeah there is an amazing screams. flush suction in the handicap stall. I like it because about. it's it's large. We're large men. I like a large stall if, but, if possible. Yeah, room I don't give a fuck stretch. if he's on the wheelchair waiting to use it. I was here first. I had to go. Yeah. Do you want me to not flush and I'll justify everything I've just done here? I learned to start taking pictures instead of just telling the myths. Actually, so I got <laughs> proof. A picture. I know. Just be like, hey, man, they're walking out. It's a Polaroid. Just well, wait. Give me 30 seconds. I had an unfortunate we, can we move on? incident. Can we yes. move on? I had an unfortunate... You don't want to talk about poop anymore? <laughs> Ram tank's talking about poop. I had an unfortunate incident uh, yesterday when I was when I was working. I uh, I had to go, and I had to go right now. <laughs> it was it was imperative. I had already distinguished that it was not a fart. It was just liquid shat. It's it, there's a there's a hot pressure just pushing. And it, and, and it was there, and I was doubled over, <laughs> burning the cable. <laughs> so I go into the guy's house. And I'm this is a the, job. You're, this you're is working. a job. I'm working, and I I throw the receiver down, and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go finish up outside, and I'll come back. We'll get this downloaded. And, hey, is, can I throw you a couple bones and use your restroom? And he was like, oh no, man, it's okay. Go ahead and use it. And I was like, well, thank you. And it's like, no, no here, I'm gonna defend here, take this. <laughs> this is going to be bad. I gave him Don't a $5 bill. Don't bad. This is going to be I gave him a $5 bill. I was like, I really appreciate it. You know, this way, I'm going to be able to leave 45 minutes earlier. Otherwise, shame I was going to have to go to Walmart use $5 or King on Super. Toilet paper. I was going to have to go to the, the bathroom. shame money. You were, so you were dishonest. Shame deposit. So, really, you were, you were, you were saying, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but you're going to want this. And legally, if you take it, you can't like hold me accountable for what happens. <laughs> Subconsciously, I think that's what so was on. So you a $5 of shame. Well, what happened was... When I, when I went in there, it was an instant just explosion. So I, I turned around and did the quick flush. I was like, yeah, that was fast. You know, the, 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 like it's over. Like and it's so over. Once, once the water started to collect again, I unleashed more. And uh, as, I, as I wiped and I turned around, I just destroyed the entire backside of that porcelain. Oh, if you get the angle right, that's never coming out. Like, it's, it's like <laughs> the flush, <laughs> it the flush isn't powerful enough in the back. Like, were you like quiet in your in your scramblings for well, the toilet brush? See, I, like never, I never thought it was possible until I had seen it years ago, but you can actually have shit splatter up in between the seat and the porcelain. It can go out the side and hit Both the Both sides? Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do that inspection. <laughs> but what I did do was just like, oh my god, that is a lot of spackle. And I just wadded up, quick wipe, yeah. good. Done. And uh, I was like, hey man, I really appreciate that. He's like, oh, it's all good. And so you made, no, it, you made it worth it. You're saying you made it worth the $5. It was, it, was, it, was, it was the best $5 shit that I've had in weeks. I mean, Weeks? That's it? <laughs> fucking weeks? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm, so, I'm really easy to please. So your poop kind of defied gravity. I think it was more like a, um, uh, like an eagle soaring on on updrafts. The poop just flying <laughs> up the heat of your shin, just rising upwards. Dude, there's some shits that are really good. Like sometimes you you, you take a dump and immediately afterwards you can like feel, you stretch and you're like, holy shit, man, I could go running right yeah. now. Spiritual you're like, go oh, running. That felt so good. <laughs> Full spiritual cleansing. Yeah, where it's, you know it cl it cleared out like under your lungs. You're taking better breaths or something. Like what is the what is the name of the when priests would like offer people to absolve them, like indulgences, Pedophilia? indulgences, is that what they're called? <laughs> like it was like know. a five dollar indulgence. Yeah, the indulgences <laughs> yeah. Would, would be like a, the, the way you sort of like pay, you pay your way out of whatever sin. So it's like, yeah, okay, well, you're raping, you know, little fucking. Well, I just imagine. Well. I just imagine you opening that door, and it's like you just took a shower. The amount of steam and humidity <laughs> yeah. pouring out of it. You're like, I had to use your bath towels. I'm sorry. You're just well, flossing over yeah, his bath towels with them. Taking a shower immediately. You're like, like, what? Five dollars to use your bathroom. <laughs> Showering and yeah, you, all out. You were drying your hair. <laughs> This towel is clean, right? You guys got conditioner? No, this, <laughs> towel, this towel is not worth five bucks, right? No, I, I, I actually, when I finished and I, and I went out into the living room, um, he had a buddy over. And I had seen, I would looked at him a couple times, didn't really register, but then I realized I know this guy. He, he went to the same high school that we all did. Oh, my God. And I was just like, hey, are you this guy? And he's like, hey, what's up, Ram Tang? Yeah, I was like, was wow, him. it is you. And he's like, you don't look like your Facebook page. I was like, yeah, because I haven't been on it in like two fucking years. Oh, I know who you're talking about. But... Speaking of social networking, we recently got ourselves a Twitter account, didn't we, guys? 
guys. There's a lot of uh, twat on that. You're tweeting a lot, but we still got five followers. My, on my personal favorite, though, is you with the t-shirt. What? You saying that you're in the t-shirt and nothing else. You don't think your neighbors appreciate oh, okay. the Donald Duck costume. <laughs> That's <laughs> my favorite. Like that well, folks, you can follow us at at Master Bastards. At Master Bastard podcast was too long, and at Master Bastard was taken. So the plural, at Master Bastards. And it should be plural because it's all four of us tweeting. And every single one, I'd say 95% are about poop, and the rest are probably about rape. Yeah, are, but that's a good mix. Oh, of course, I mean we're violent. That is crimes. like the salt and pepper of, of the comedy world. <laughs> so, so yeah, why don't you check us out, folks? Hit us up. Uh, we'd uh, we'd love some. Fan it's a good body. <laughs> you know, and hey, fuck, while I'm at it, I might as well just throw out all the commercial shit. Um, oh, go yeah. go uh, to uh, popularirony.com. That's where everything is housed. We've you can got go to YouTube and check out Popular Irony videos, or you can go to Steaming Pile O Tech It and see our gaming videos. I'd really appreciate it. We'd really appreciate it if you go onto iTunes and give us a five star review and a comment. That'd be great. Seeing how I have two iTunes accounts and I left two comments and two reviews, and none of the three of you have done that at all. Thanks I for refuse your support. to fucking install Thanks iTunes. For your support. And I did it. It helps us in the rankings, my... it helps us get more views. More listens, all that kind of stuff. If we lie, it makes it better. So that's all I'm hearing. I don't Cosmos. have internet. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. I Eat have it, no whore. reason to use iTunes. Uh, oh, well, I like iTunes, this. I just don't have access to it. I'm not going to go to the library because I don't You read, can't win them all. Good. It's like a Hey, folks, good. if you care about this podcast more than the three other gentlemen on it do, please leave us a comment. Thanks. <laughs> And then, yeah. yeah, fucking guilt trip, man. It's not going to work on work me. This. You guys could, like, I might set up a yeah, Facebook oh, yeah, account you met, you yeah, guys hey, social hey, network. I bring the bear. funny, okay? That's all I bring. I bring nothing, really. I just well, show up. Did you bring the pubic hair topiary? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a problem. <laughs> it was a plan. It's a cue. The budget Brazilian duct yeah. tape topiary. Duct tape topiary, the budget Brazilian. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> for the for the economy class, yeah, exactly. we made, like, we made a fake magazine <laughs> cover. Look like you were like, what was that magazine cover? The magazine even call Crotch Fancy magazine. Crotch Fancy. <laughs> God damn it, Crotch Fancy. Oh, duct tape. What was it? There was a bunch of Brazilian. Yeah, there was a bunch on that. That was that was a funny one. You kind of lashed out on the last podcast about if I don't do it, fucking nothing gets done. I was a joke. Yeah, I know, but it's it was true. it was pretty. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. He, that's what it was the subtle undertone. The joke. We're at my house using my recorder. I edit with my computer and I upload it and, and host it with my money and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, so. your recorder is using my batteries. Yeah, fuck you. You are absolved <laughs> from all future um, requirements. You, t- you're drinking my <laughs> beer, motherfucker. It's the and my absin. Yeah. Oh, I guess we're all... We all can a memory card. God damn it. Okay, everything balances out. We Not all, according to you. We can all have a kiss fight, okay? Okay. Tickle fight. How oh. many minutes are we in? Is this over? I've, it's got to be over. Why would you want it to be over? It should I'm go just on forever. Because of you. Isn't it over? Damn it. Is it over yet? I want it to be over so you guys get the fuck out of my How house. How long into it are we? Come okay, on next topic. Uh, well, we could talk about Pinterest. You guys been on Pinterest oh, recently? Shut the fuck They've up got about. these little pictures. You click on them, and like, I like this kind of stuff. I want to look at more stuff like this, and then more pictures show up, and you look at those. Oh my god! This you need to weird. you need to take one more of these. I'm not. Oh, uh, I don't shit. really want another shot. Of I'm not having that, that shit. I'm not having that moonshine that's in the freezer. Okay, go get that then. All right, I'm not drinking that. I'm drinking. I've got liquor. Are just we, give me a half shot. We're drinking that, so salt dog. Have you salt dead. dog. Salt dog whiskeys. Is that salt in it and dog? Well, no, we've got uh, we've got some uh, additional good. ingredients we can possibly add to our. Oh, Come doing, on, man! You're doing that? Yeah, I fucking said we were. That's whiskey. Great. You want to here? I got another shot glass just for you. God damn it! Sort out the drinking and get back to the chatting and laughing. You can edit. You're this. the editor. Go fuck yourself. I don't know. Editing edit is the so. easiest part of the process. Oh, oh of course. So, oh, the okay. actual work. So 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 back to the back to the tweeting thing. Like I, this is Ram Tang. I've never tweeted. Not a big fan of you know the whole like newer wave thing. But I got into it, and I've I've laid some tweets out since you guys have hipped me to it. You've had some good ones. We've all had some good ones. Yeah, I, yeah there's there's I, had some. Doozies. I did put one up. Um, it was hashtag Standing Globe because I saw the most symmetrical circular fat woman <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> They, and from the angle when she wasn't walking, it looked like a standing globe. Beautiful. It was, it was like a like a, it was there. An it was, do you think her, her clothes are just sort of like hanging off of her, or what? I think that you could take those clothes. Or are they holding it? You keeping could, its frame. You could sail like a thirty-five foot schooner with the fabric <laughs> of that clothing. 
So she's good in a survival situation. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why is he? Tarp. I mean, <laughs> even if she dies, she's still gonna still float for a with. while. Yeah, come and win. That that would be my door on the Titanic. I mean, Leonardo wouldn't have to die. Titanic, okay. make a tent. Yeah, I'm gonna read us just a few random tweets. We've had it up for like a week. We've got like 78 a week? tweets or it's something. Has that been over a week? Hasn't been. I didn't think it was that long. It's the two weeks. So I don't know who's tweeting what except for the ones I tweeted. Who's um, twatting which tweet? Twatting which tweet? Let's see here. Um, on the 30th, we had on July 30th. I told my boss that I'm physically unable to urinate without also shitting. Hashtag extra break. That's my favorite one. I <laughs> love that one. Is that, that was you or a hand tackle? It was me. Because yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I totally assume you really can't. And I assume I also think you sit down to, to pee. Oh, we already had this conversation. Yeah. You're the sit down to pee. Yeah, I, I stand up to pee unless I'm at work and getting paid for it. <laughs> we already talked about the handicap stall. I ain't seen a single motherfucker in a wheelchair, so that one's <laughs> yeah, that one's, one's all mine. It's kind of mine. This is one that a coworker told me he died laughing at. Socks are so useful, not only for catching shame loads, but they do wonders to clean an itchy asshole. <laughs> Who was that? That's me too. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. very drunk when yeah, I was taking this on fire. Uh, I had somebody actually like tell me at work like that was your that was really funny. <laughs> it really was. Though. It um, sounds like, from what we've heard so far, that sounds like it came from you. <laughs> <laughs> the side I just, of the road. I'm so, I thought it was a theme. I thought we were going. <laughs> we, no, we, but half the people think you're like a truck this driver is, or something. One of my favorites. <laughs> we, uh, there was a, uh, uh, a trending hashtag that was hashtag confess your unpopular opinion. So I had, uh, this was me. Uh, hashtag confess your unpopular opinion. Free Ariel Castro. <laughs> And Tackle and I were on Skype discussing that one when we said it was posted. <laughs> Free Ariel Castro. That is most certainly an unpopular Just opinion. Just saw the most symmetrical fat chick ever. Hashtag standing low pad. Hashtag too big for britches. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's like suspenders are the only thing that'll do the job. It was like a it was like a orange halter top with blue pants. So it was like a, a huge Bronco beach ball. I've seen men like that, but only like in, uh, in cafes in really small towns that my dad took me to before we went shooting. <laughs> Or you go to a cafe there, and that's there's somebody that's already there, and it's there when you leave. And he's gigantic, and he has like the shoes that are round from the top to the bottom. I love like round those. tennis shoes. Round Kmart tennis shoes. brand white tennis shoes that are perfectly like yeah. Are you wearing a cast and that's painted on? Do you have Stay Puft Marshmallow Man feet? <coughs> <laughs> the people who never grew out of baby fat, where I have Michelin Man arms. No, and that's stuff. A, baby fat was was like the starting point. That was the the best shape they've ever been. It was baby fat. It's when they were fucking new balls downhill. Since Day one. <laughs> your two, your two day old son. He's uh, he's got diabetes. <laughs> right, here's the another one of my favorite. Physical health right now. <laughs> here's another tweet. I'm I am not attracted to fatties. That is why I switched to sugar free candy in my windowless van. <laughs> All right, is that hand tackle? Yeah, that's good. I figure his child abduction would be hand tackle. <laughs> I, I, re- I did a bunch of Terry Pratchett quotes because I like Terry Pratchett. So you stole? Okay, we got I that. had yeah. slash Terry Pratchett and what book it was from, so give me a break. Oh, okay. That's social media. I saw somebody tweet this yesterday and made me laugh. Everybody had the hashtag of pray for Chris Brown and uh, at Puckett2696 tweeted, I'm sure he'll beat that seizure thing. He's good at beating a lot of things. <laughs> and there's some dog fart. Everybody, welcome back to the dog fart show. The dog farted, and it smells really terrible. Three people blew, and one person inhaled. Who was it? I heard it. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> is the dog yeah. the yeah, I haven't already gotten it. It's a connoisseur of the smells of the air. So is it really that bad? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> nah, my dog was. I can, I can taste it just a little bit. Chaps where I can know what kind of brand of dog would I've been eating just by smelling it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't know where that was coming from. I've known you for years. And I never heard you ate. I've heard your most shameful It was moment. just like one or two times, I guess. Oh, well, shit. Sure. No, your mom told you it was between, it was the entire ages of one and two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Daily. Yeah. All right. Like, I haven't had to clean the backyard in weeks. I don't know what's going on. Cheers. <laughs> Is our dog pooping? Oh, Something oh with the God. dog. Take it to the vet. Uh, having another drink. So, folks, we'll cut away and have another little commercial from our uh, dear friends at the Joysticks and Party Hats podcast. Where? What's it's joystick'sandpartyhats.com. You can go there and they talk about video games, who, 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 how to kiss men correctly, um, beard shaving I do want to have a community masturbation <coughs> event we with them. We could have a jerk race where you know, each person hits the timer and then runs into the restroom. That sounds like a jerk race at all. Uh, jerk race guys and folks and the sounds of dogs Random drinking water are brought to you by dogsdrinkingwater.com ooh that sounds delicious not, 
with the absinthe. Okay. All right, we'll take a shot while the dog's drinking water. We'll have us drink ourselves. Yes. Absinthe time, so ladies. Gross. Oh, oh, like hey there, Internet. Are you tired of all those other podcasts putting you to sleep? Well, we have just the thing for you. The Joysticks and Party Hats podcast. We'll give you sex advice. Some kind of cola in her mouth, and then you teabag her. We alienate consumers. Hi, can I help you? Give us. <laughs> Time to put me in a home. An old lady said hi to me. I was like, fuck you. Obviously, it wasn't some old lady at McDonald's. You didn't get any fucking Skylander figures. Tech talk. Blizzard will run on a fucking piece of toast with banana next to it. So if you want to be the cool hip kid on your block, go to iTunes and download the Joysticks and Party Hats podcast. Check us out on the web at joystick'sandpartyhats.com. Like oh. you drank a uh, nail polish remover? That actually is the most accurate flavor, nail polish remover. With uh, oh. like, like somebody, uh, no, what? Somebody Wormwood. very sick threw up some Jägermeister. That's what it Wormwood just drank. Oh, it. it does actually have a Nyquil thing to it. It does. It maybe, totally maybe got this an is Nyquil flavor. five hour energy and vodka. Antiseptic flavor. The sugar helped. I'm gonna have a little bit of. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look like it helped. <laughs> I didn't have any sugar on this one. Oh, I see what you're saying. So Dude, by it, it contrast, it tastes like Listerine that's been fermenting with fucking Twizzlers, man. It's like that fucking fish Ugh. sauce they do in Japan, where it's gonna like hide in a bucket in open sun for I love fish sauce. 16 years, and they scrape it off the bottom and rehydrate it. And what's that the, shit is good. What's the fucking rotted egg that was buried? Hundred year old egg. Yeah, yeah that shit. Like yeah, like thousand year egg. Yeah. Was it like buried in sand and covered in ammonia and horse piss and stuff, it and it black. changes it, turns it all black? Yeah. I've seen and those in, in Asian markets, but I've never been What is the name for the, uh, for the duck eggs with the ducks early in them? Oh, God, what is that The called? fetus ducks? Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, we worked at a place that opened a call center in Manila in the Philippines. And uh, yeah. they offered to send me out there, and I said, no way. <laughs> they keep the same hours as the Americans do. Well, Philippi- Filipinos so we get on the- love Americans. They're like oh, the yeah, number I know, one country that I did like- not want to go there. I've heard the stories. <laughs> this is like, uh, this, you know, they have all kind of like problems with like, they have some uh, kidnappings, Islamist rebels and shit in the really? streets. Yeah, they're they got... the number one country as far as loving America. They're, they're the top. I'm sure. But it's here's weird. the problem. is the call centers open the same hours as they are in the States, only there. They're on the other side of the fucking world. <laughs> so you're like working until 4 a.m. and then the sun's coming up and you have to leave. And then you keep traveling back and forth and bullshit. No way. But, you know. You'd at least be able to keep your same sleep. You could schedule. have found a dainty Filipino bride. Your same I know, sleeping that's, schedule that was the only two hours. hours and that's, that's, I guess Filipino that's woman even goes for like sixteen dollars. Kidnap there. a dainty <laughs> Filipino bride. <laughs> All right, that was a, a missed opportunity, is what you're telling me. And I looked into it. You can get windowless vans in the Philippines. <laughs> you, but here's the beauty. There's, you don't but there's some need weird them. Russian <laughs> company. You don't need them. You could have a convertible, and you'd be doing the same stuff, and nobody bats it. Oh yeah, they don't have the Amber Yeah, people just look and go, "Oh, he's in love." If you watch that, that show, kid's going to have a good show, life. The Vice show, <laughs> after Bill Maher, they had yeah, a I segment on uh, the Philippine uh, election of governors oh, and shit yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, in those little yeah. cities where it's, it's like always a murder. What are you talking about? Fucking, I missed it. 200 it's, it's smart fucking oh, smart. convoy of people just... Yeah, there. that's like the whole thing is like the, the tradition is the guys that are yeah. like going for office have to get all their convoy together with all their machine guns and just make it to the place where they register to apply for. That's like that's like the idea. It's like if you can get there without your enemies fucking storming your shit and murdering everybody, yeah, then like you done. have the right to be on the ballot. <laughs> that was the whole idea in the fucking Philippines. You're right. Jesus it's a great Christ. fucking place. You remind yeah. me. Thank you for that. I'm just telling Switch you, I wish you would have went there. <laughs> I, w- I would totally stick out to. It. We're talking about Filipinos. I'm a large man. <laughs> oh, you'd fit perfect. They they think you were the big the big uh, pale bear. No, I, still to this day oh, I think a bear. lot of us and uh, and and Turlet's brother need to go to Japan at some point <laughs> and just walk like abreast side by side down the fucking streets and just displace every single person that's trying to. Get I'd even be on. big there. We should put oh, on yeah, war costumes. Dude, you're over six that. foot tall. That's like another one. I would do it with like a 19, 1982 wrestling outfits. Oh, so oh like, like oh. Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, like pretty, pretty much spandex for everybody. Oh, That's just a given. But right, I am just the long trunks and no shirt. The iron curly, cheek. curly hair. The iron cheek. Yeah, Camel like clutch. Mr. Perfect. There was or... a uh, Mexican wrestler called El Dandy. And that's what I want to look like. <laughs> was he one of the high-flying, like, midget ones? No, or? he's one of those fat, lumbering ones. Oh, one of the ones with, like, 
it's really manly, but really he's just got sort of a flat, wide I'm chest. I'm thinking of what kind of yeah, wrestler like I could actually chest. be, not like I, fantasy land. I'm not. <laughs> I think I could pull off a Jesse the Body Ventura esque with the bolo, get like a big bolo, Bo- oh, yeah, there you with go. The, just with sunglasses and the bandana. Yeah, yeah, that or Anvil. You could do Bam Bam Bigelow. I'd love it. Just get my, get my fucking head all tied I'd, I'd go straight up and hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yes. Oh, and I could stomp around like I literally Can you thought he was making there? fun of retarded people for like the first 15 years of my life. <laughs> You're like 10 years old. He was like, like this, this is really inappropriate. For people. No, 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 no. I thought that guy's like an empowered retard. That's what I was thinking to myself. You're 10 always, years old. Just like, I always thought he was like a giant Kurt Russell on steroids. <laughs> this is really uplifting. I'm Kurt Russell let him do could this act. kind of thing. Yeah, he just walk around straight like a goose step and walk in like with a fucking giant board like yeah. Thumbs up with the two by four. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, who was your favorite wrestlers? Like, how nice of them childhood, to cheer. Childhood, most, even up to most recent. Oh, Andre for that, so. sure. Andre the Giant was mine. Andre the Giant, yeah. Man, uh, Macho Man Fuck, Randy Savage. Do you have a favorite? Savage. Well, the Ultimate Warrior had the best interviews. Ultimate Warrior had Ooh. the best everything. He's still crazy. He's still he out died. there making weird videos. He died. Come he, on. He died. Is, no, there was like there was like three or four of them. Twice over. Right? Wasn't there three or four of them? They were all brothers. I have no yeah, idea. Look, this shit up. look this up. No, let's let's save it for next time. Actually, default got a mission for you. Um, uh, how many Ultimate Warriors were there? Can you email us? And in were they all related? Time? Yes, they all <laughs> grew up on the. I'd like to assign a, a fan challenge. <laughs> yeah, to this yeah the person. compound. Default. Let us know. <laughs> like a super. Is there only one? Compound. I'm guessing kind of one. I there was more. There was than one. No, there was more, more than one. One, one died. Like Circus E Highwire Act. It was like they were That's brothers. That's the Hitman oh. Hart. That's Owen Hart. Fucking taking. Owen the Angel Hart. Yeah. That's the most tragic thing I've ever seen. Hey guys, you want to watch it? No. What about no, no. uh, Chris Jericho? Was it Chris? No, not All three Chris of us Jericho. did see something terrible on the internet. You remember that little dude that was like it was you in the restaurant, half midget? Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit. Oh, yeah, he like yeah. killed his wife. And yeah, the guy like had neck for days and like tiny shoulders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think he choked. Like, like, he strangled his baby, wife and children. Baby arms and killed them all. Yeah. Killed them all. They said it's not steroids. Like no crazy doesn't enter into. I think they hung himself a couple days later. I think they were still. Crazy's not enough. There had to have been performance enhancing drugs involved. <laughs> Roid rage, smash, wife and children. Stop crying. That's all I. That's all I can imagine. Just screaming. Stop. Crying. Well, then he, I think he waited a few days too before he like off to himself. Yeah. So he's a coward. Is what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> Jake the Snake. Yeah, he couldn't get up the That's top. Yeah, you know the end of this game when you yeah. started it. That's a sad story, Jake the Snake. Why? What happened to him? Well, then he has some like thing where he's like does has a lot of crack and he. Yeah, he was gay. Oh, but he had kids. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> gay kids, yeah. stupid. Yeah, Ravishing gay. Rick Rude could bear children. <laughs> yeah, Rick Flair was the most oh. ridiculous wrestler of all he's time. Still Woo! Going, man. I like Rick. Woo! Rick Flair has got to be the worst. He was the best. Ted, uh, fucking. Million Man Ted DiBiase is the best. <laughs> he was no, a poor man's Lex Ted Luthor. Lex Luthor had the best finishing move of all time. The torture rack. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. The torture rack. Lex Luthor. Or Lex, 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 Lex Luthor. Luthor. Wasn't it? Lex Luthor, Luthor is Superman's name. Not the Tombstone. Was it Luger? <laughs> Choke Slam? Come on no. now. <coughs> was it Luthor or Luger? Luthor. Lex Luthor is Superman. Comic no, I know. Lex I... Luger is a wrestler. Was it Luger? I always thought it was well, Luger. Well, would you mind Google Luger? I thought we were assigning fan challenges. That was just the ultimate Default. Thing. Yeah. Default. Yeah. Default. 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 Let's go here. Huh? Do it, man. Do what, the research. Default can't handle it? This is what you're saying is Default can't handle it. I guess Default can't handle it. So, can you handle okay. it, Default? Can you let us know if it's Lex Luthor or Lex Luger? In a I've, video or a video clip that we will attach for an next Actually, I want you to present a PowerPoint presentation and email it to uh, the bastards at masterbastard.com. Facts to... Okay, well, anyway, to a There will be a prize for the most diamond star wipes used <laughs> <Yes>. in this <laughs> presentation. And you got, you got fucking shit to beat because we've seen it. <laughs> I, uh, would, I remember performing the torture rack on... The doctor of chiropractic. Oh, the Dick Charmer? All the time, the yeah. Dick the Dick Charmer, the DC. DJ Rape Whistle? Yeah. DJ yeah. Rape Whistle. DJ Rape Whistle. Whistle. Yeah. Do you remember the, uh, the time the that, he, uh, that he got a girl into his room? Like, it was the first time he ever got a girl into his room. Oh, you guys ruined together. it, didn't you? We're what all... did you do to ruin his fucking no, night she was, with a woman? They were in there like... <laughs> We started well, pounding on the door. I had already stole water under his door. <laughs> I already stole his rape grenade. Remember his rape grenade? 
Oh, there's you not know, pull the pin out of it and it goes wild. Like, it's oh, just yeah. squealing. Terrible, terrible squealing. <laughs> you open it and throw the it most, in there. <laughs> he had a dirty fucking room. Dude, he had already... Remember folks, how, folks, this thing is like just a little device where women can pull the pin and it's like a really loud piercing. squeal. It is terrible. Miles. It is so loud. Why does he have one? I don't know. <laughs> so you have... I remember this. No, we live with him. But here's the thing. It's like this guy, in my defense... This particular individual, this is in the days of dial-up internet, let me remind uh-huh. you. We all had papers due the next day, and we find out he's got his door fucking bolt-locked, downloading like 2,000 gigs of porn on a dial-up modem. We can't get on the fucking phone. We can't get the internet. We were yeah, so research furious. research papers we, or anything like that. Yeah, we, we called him, made him come down. He finally opened the shit up. Then shortly after is when he had the girl in his room. So, to my defense, like, that rage was yeah. at an all-time high. Yeah, I kicked the door open, and I threw the grenade under his bed. <laughs> he pulled the pin, threw this squealing box under his bed where he couldn't see it, and then held his door closed. While he screamed bloody murder, naked with a boner, with a girl fucking falling onto his floor in a cluttered bedroom full of fucking empty beer cans. <laughs> friendship. <laughs> True friendship. And how did he retaliate? You know it was fucked up. Was that no, he ate all my food again for the it third was week in a row. It was rotting. It was rotting. I, it's a fucking <laughs> doggy bag from 7 o'clock last night. It was <laughs> rotting. I smelled it. So that's how he does it if it's like, this is almost disgusting. Uh, yeah, I'm now he justifies now. it. <laughs> Your yeah. mayonnaise turned a little bit. <clears throat> the mental gymnastics he could do to rationalize eating somebody else's food work. It was astronomically. It's delicious. Awesome. He was, he was he, you know what? He was the DJ rape whistle, but the reach around was equally bad. Was equally bad. He was Your other douchey. roommate who it was an aspiring no, the, DJ. The first one had you know redeeming qualities, done? redeeming qualities, and and was likable. The other one was not likable. What we should have done is all of us should have said, okay, for twenty dollars, we'll, we will pay extra twenty dollars rent for you to keep the whole house clean because you don't work. Yeah, that's a, yeah. We, that's where we should have been. Like, if there's dishes in the sink when I get <clears> home, we have got problems. <laughs> what the yes, fuck? Where is my five dinner. people paying you twenty bucks a month to clean this place? You start slapping them like a fifties housewife. Better look nice when I go. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like you still have resentment for this fucker. Well, you know, I'm not the one that like tried to kill him into a fucking bookcase. I just shut him up real fast. He yeah, yeah, it was, I'm sure talking. it wouldn't be shut assault him up real fast with room. violence. I just grabbed him around the neck, and he was sitting in a chair like this, like leaning back. So I I just lunged at him, and and. The force of me lunging took me into the mantle. Yeah, and you got exonerated on that cost. Like, oh, you threw him through? Okay, no worries. I'll yeah, fix yeah. that for Fuck, you. man. <laughs> I paid for that. <laughs> yeah. Would you... Dog farts? Yeah, dog farts. more dog farts. Well, do we got hey, corn, folks, corn it's a dog fart time. <clears throat> I just saw the uh, the body language that clearly spoke to... Uh, I have a dog fart. Well, I had the dog in the lower <laughs> level of the house, but then he, I have that little, like, child-proof gate or whatever, and he's trying to crawl underneath it, like, desperately, and he's whining slightly. So I had to let him over here. So it's either, like, we have to deal with doggy whining and him Did you get trapped. Up? I don't remember this. I oh, do. Fart. <laughs> Oh, dog. We farts. had a brief moment of panic in case one of us had to do something. Uh, really? <laughs> it's not like I got a soundboard. I got like one device <laughs> near hanging. We're recording right now. I wish I had multiple one microphones on the soundboard. Folks, the quality of this podcast is brought to you by Turlet being cheap. Yeah, well, hey, more expensive than I might think. Didn't this whole story start about you bitching that you spend all the money and work all the fucking. I wasn't bitching. I'm just, it's a fact. Oh, okay. There's a fine line, apparently. <laughs> Wow. No, it's a fact. <laughs> Before we started, we did. Hey guys, it. we're gonna start this thing. You guys want to be a part of it? I'm gonna do it. everything. Hey, I love it. Have I complained? Oh, only a couple times. Only on the air where it's amusing and we get the huck, chuckle huckles. Okay, I got, I got something horrible. Oh, folks. You guys looked at it, folks. It's time for ham tackles. Horrible things. We haven't done this in a while. I should come up with a jingle where it's like ham tackles. Horrible things. Sweet Christ! I smell farts. Oh, Holy that is cow. strong. Oh, tackles oh, cow. Show is somebody like attacking me in the vicinity? Baron, come on. Oh, man. Ooh, that's yeah. enough to give you a fucking yeah. shingles headache. That, that would make <laughs> illegal workers working at the meat plant go back. No kidding. Holy there, I'll put him downstairs shit. again. That would good, just time enough for him to fuck everything up and leave. Oh, man, that is potent. It's not just this normal flavor. That has, like, a lot of, like... There's a flavor? It's got, like, a lot of... It feels I didn't, like I didn't taste the smelling that fart reminds me of, like, sniffing 
cotton physically. Vienna like, sausages. It's like feces laden cotton. It's thick. It's feces laden cotton. It's got a texture. It's got a steam to it. That's, that's my fucking sock tweet. Do you remember when you were yawning at work in uh, up the hill there when we were waiters? Oh and yeah, fat came and hit you. You were like with a hand the, grenade of fart. Yeah, a hand grenade. I was fart. breathing in to have a deep yawn, and a male and a uh, coworker at the restaurant we worked at, as a waiter, cupped a fart, farted into his hand, and put it in my mouth as I was breathing in. Yeah, that's, that's how. And I inhaled right. his entire fart, and then I gagged a bunch and had to go and wait on tables. So here's the thing you don't know. But you punched him and After hit work, his like floating like rib. Four hours later, he was had his both arms and he's a short guy so he's, he's kind of his arms are way up on the bar kind of lifted and he's leaning forward perfectly relaxed and I gave him the hardest kidney punch I could and I physically lifted him out of the bar stool with my punch to his kidneys and it was so unprotected and loose gurgle there was a gurgle and loose. just laid there for like 15 minutes just like breathing heavily and he didn't retaliate he knew he deserved yeah. it was, that, yeah, that, guy, so that guy's so terrible we played football with him and I remember coming back from games where, like, we live in a place where there's some agricultural towns out in the middle of fucking nowhere you have to go to, right? And on the way back, everybody would sort of be all crashed out. Like, we just fucking busted our ass for, you know, two and a half hours. Hand, you know, hands and people knees, relaxing. Right? Yeah. And he'd get on his hands and knees in his seat with his ass straight up in the air. Presenting, right? Oh, He's just letting it all condense into fartable fucking chunks. So he just gets, builds it up, and then goes to whoever's like laying back in their seat <laughs> and just blasts the fart right in their face and then runs back to his seat. And he's always the one that's not, everybody else is laughing. He's the one that's not laughing. So nobody even looks at him at first. But then, <laughs> then like they get out of their stupor and they realize exactly who it is because there's nobody else that would ever. Oh. <laughs> he used yeah. to, he used My to favorite lick Skittles. Was- yeah, I like Skittles. This is guy, he's got two names. He's either fat or he's toad. Yeah. People call him back the, in the day. The so half eaten discussed him before. Stick. You know, lobbing it and having it stick on somebody's yeah. neck. He's just working with you and him at that restaurant was just a struggle like, every day. I'm tired. I'm slightly hungover. I got I got like 15 tables running, and all of a sudden, I take a sip of my Mountain Dew. Yeah, the and Tabasco. The bottom inch of Mountain Dew is now all solid Tabasco sauce. <laughs> you take a, 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 you a straw, straw, you know, and, and you, you put it in a Tabasco it's thing. The middle and you of put, summer, and I'm working. You like it's so gentle. You have to have them watch. It just pours you know, like, it over it, a spoon. Or, is Sterling coming? Is he coming? It's it's the okay, middle of summer. I'm working on a patio restaurant, and I'm running. hot, and I'm wearing a Three long sleeve shirt with a tie. Three tears. And I'm like, oh, there's my ice cold Mountain Dew. I'm gonna slug as much of that as I like, quickly as I can, and then I'm gonna get these fucking six meals out the table seven. Like gulp, 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 gulp. Oh, this is all Tabasco by the fourth <laughs> swallow. It's iced Tabasco, and it's mixed with Mountain Dew, but it's still mostly Tabasco. Oh, we made sure you got the concentrated dose, too. That was the Oh, because it's my Mountain Dew. It's just they fill it up. Just Tabasco, 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 Tabasco. No, no, no. We, That's we what would do the straw. Oh, you put it in the straw. Yeah, so we, no, we would take a shot glass from the bar oh. and, and fill it up. Put the straw in there gently, you know, like you're making a, a black and tan. You know, it's got to be real gentle and careful. Fucker. So we would have, like, a watch person. You know, like, caca! If you were coming down the stairs or something. I heard that constantly. I thought we had a fucking some kind of bird. There's always birds when I come in here. The ranch, the ranch cucumbers were my favorite. Oh, yeah. I'd walk out there and I'd reach into my apron and grab a pen to write down an order. And there's like lemon slices and cucumbers covered in ranch. That is is a kitchen standard. Slices of raw tomato in my apron. That's wonderful. I worked in in a kitchen and that was part of the game is we had a guy that was on the team that was like the younger guy than us and had like skater jeans with like the world's biggest pockets. You could like fit like eight kittens in them. (laughs) Right. Eight <laughs> Remember we had a unit in a membership me- me- measurement that was babies? Like, yeah, that car trunk is about a 16 baby trunk. Like, <laughs> using them as a measure of length, width, height, everything. It's just like baby. My mom's car had a had a four teenage girl trunk. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, four teenage So that's a 16 cubic girls. baby trunk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, is this ham tackles? Horrible things. Ham <coughs> tackles. Sure. Off to is gore. Everybody knows that one of the best places to vacation, really any year, is Syria. <laughs> Syria. Civil war late in Syria. Yeah, they, they, they got pretty, things pretty much hashed out from what I've seen in the news. But yeah, it's a bad place to be, right? And so uh, there's a picture here that is like news footage of a guy that is too close to a wall when it gets hit by a tank round. So he's fine. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a near-death experience, I'm sure. We don't know the how. He fully recovers, I'm obviously. sure. Who knows? It could have. Could have. So you're going to show us just some, just some a person dying, pretty much, is what you're telling nah, me. Nah. You're going to show you us... Look, look at it, and you decide. Oh, right? yeah, okay. That's nice. 
<laughs> oh, look at that. His face goes away. <laughs> that is, hey, folks. There's so much solid matter in the wow. air with the smoke. There's a dude standing there with a bulletproof vest against the wall just chilling. Like, hey, man, I'm just, you know, just seeing what's going yeah, on. Yeah, he's in and half. And then a tank blast goes off, and pretty much, you can't really see. It's not he's really in gory. half. He's yeah. in half. Are you kidding me? No, that's, no, he's the, not. The, that's like his... His it's, face just gets blown it's off. It's a quarter of his face oh, that, that just disappears. Oh, that other dude's blown to bits. Oh, this guy. Okay, I was looking yeah, at Yeah, look that at the guy dude. on the left. Watch the guy on the left. Look at that. Oh, my God. That's, That's his face. That's his face exploding. That's so, folks, horrible. we just saw a picture of a guy, uh, an animated GIF, or, or GIF, whatever they call it, of a guy's face exploding. He lived probably oh. for, like, at least a few You know, few you should give me that so I can overlay it with, like, sparkles and starlight and stuff. Yeah, like, make it of My Little Ponies, and you like, tag it with every My Little Pony thing, so everybody that looks up My Little Pony. Instead thing. of gore, it's just pixie dust flying off that guy's face? Yeah. You should, he, Standards you should and practices, right? D- diamond swipe it, and then just <laughs> zoom in. Diamond swipe. <laughs> diamond. That makes everything uh, so classy. The star swipe. You know, star it's wipe. good production. Okay, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, we're beating around the bush here. We've got a certain beverage that I think everybody's fucking just waiting. What? With bated breath to try today. What? You know well, what it is. Get your fat ass wait, up. Wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? Are you talking about the, the, the delicious sodas? We've got odd sodas made from around the globe. These are gourmet sodas. These oh, are these are old. Okay, these are but delicious. you know, these are going to wait for next week, everybody. <sighs> I know. I gotta a wait a week. Well, you gotta wait for a whole week to drink these delicious sodas, bacon flavored, ranch flavored, even more. Buffalo wings. Oh god! I ate dude. ribs with you. <laughs> I ate ribs <laughs> with that dude. <laughs> free Ariel Castro. <laughs> Every free Ariel Castro. Hashtag. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you next time on Master Bastard. Hey, who gets the finishing word this time? Get out of here. Fuck off. Get out of here. Fuck off. Love the way you move. Tender body. Tender body. <laughs> See you next time, folks. We have um, different tones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, this is Doug Stanhope, and you're listening to the Master Bastard Podcast, live from wherever the fuck you are. No, I went to hmm. the balls immediately.